everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing you this Bossman 25 amp electrical fuse. Now, this is a very interesting piece of electrical protection equipment. Now, before we get into detail of this, you're probably wondering, what is a fuse? A fuse is an electrical, electrical safety device, a protection device in a circuit. What if, see, be, before the modern circuit breaker became used in residential and commercial buildings, you had fuses. Fuses were common pre-World War II. So they, they were used, like, before the 1940s, basically. So, uh, they would fit into the old uh, fuse panels instead of circuit breaker panels. So how this works is a fuse... As you can see, this one is rated for 25 amps of electrical current. Or electrical amps, not current, really. But, um, what happens, let's say, let's say you have a 25 amp rated fuse, and let's say 30 amps go through the fuse somehow. So something happens, and 30 amps flow through the fuse. What's going to happen is the fuse is going to blow. Now, blow means that the fuse basically disconnects itself from the circuit, cutting off power and protecting the components. So what happens is you can see inside here that there is a uh, element, a fuse element inside the fuse there. And you can clearly see the little silver part right there. Well, that silver part is what um, melts when the fuse gets too much current passed through it. And it effectively disconnects the circuit that the fuse is hooked up to. So basically, when your fuse would blow from like a power, uh, you know, voltage spike or something in the uh, electrical 110 to 120 volt service that got a little bit higher, it would blow the fuse. So you would have to go down to your service panel, you would have to open the panel, and you would have to find the blown fuse. Finding a blown fuse is very simple. You can look at, you can usually tell if it's blown, obviously, by looking at it, seeing if the element is broken. But if it was a cartridge-style fuse, um, you would have to take a fuse tester and you would have to hook up one lead here and one lead here. Or you could use a continuity tester to test if the fuse is still intact. So, once the fuse is replaced, the electrical current would be able to continue flowing in the circuit. That's basically the purpose of a fuse. So, this fuse, as in clear seats as UL listed, and the, and the type uh, TL. And if you look on the side of the fuse, it says time delay fuse right there. Now what time delay means is, let's say there was a small voltage spike, maybe about 125 volts that went into your service panel. What would happen is the fuse would be able to withstand that amount of current without blowing for a certain amount of time. Because sometimes you have voltage spikes that's just normal operation of the electrical system. And a lot of times the fuses that are not time delay fuses would blow. So it kind of just saves your fuse. So yeah. Uh, that's really all I have to say. Except I will compare the base of the fuse with a standard incandescent lamp. Right here. A very interesting one. You can clearly see that the base of the fuse is similar but not exact to an incandescent lamp base. It has the threads, as you can see right there, but it's smaller than an incandescent bulb base, and it has the same insulator on it. So, there you go. Now, it's important to know, if you ever need to service or install a fuse in a panel, you have to know, never, ever install a fuse that that is bigger than the original fuse. So for this example, let's say if this fuse is installed in the panel, and if this fuse blew, and you would have to replace it, and let's say, eh, I don't have a 25 amp fuse, but I have a 30 amp fuse. The problem here is if you put a 30 amp fuse in a 25 amp rated uh, circuit, the fuse will allow 30 amps to flow through the wiring that is only rated for 25 amps. In that case, the wiring could overheat, and it could cause a fire, therefore burning your house down. So, do not do that. Always replace a fuse with the right rating that the wiring was intended for. 
never replaced the fuse with a higher rating than than the original fuse rating was of the wiring. There's a safety tip there. Anyways, um, thank you guys very much for watching this video about my bus man, 25 amp, time delay fuse. If you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to, um, to share them, and please don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.